taking you to East Alabama now where a school counselor is making a difference by helping students care for their hair. WRBL News 3's Elizabeth White joining us now live from our East Alabama newsroom with more details. Hi, Liz. Well, Bill Teresa, good afternoon to you. So, you know, it's hard to be a kid, especially in middle school in the age of social media and image perfecting filters. Really, the pressure to look a certain way can be overwhelming. Tonight, we're going to meet with a counselor who is tackling one of these problems head on. And, and I just do, like I have a daughter, and I, I do what I would want someone to do for my child. Tiffany Gibson is a mom, school counselor, and founder of Girl Steps Inc., a nonprofit located at Opelika's Rain Tree Community Center. So we focus on girls in grades 3 through 12, where we're providing um, various interventions for them to be successful in our future leaders. Uh, we also offer an after school program where we offer that to girls and boys, as well as our summer camp. Gibson's been a school counselor for 21 years in Alabama and now Georgia. We no longer just guide kids. We have to take care of that social emotional learning. So we are m leaning more towards the mental health of our students because some kids just can't get through the day. Last year, Gibson noticed girls were being made fun of because of their hair, specifically their edges. I mean, that's a billion, trillion dollar industry, so hair is a lot. And with a lot of our African American girls, um, some of the products that we would normally get in for the school does not go well with the hair pattern or the texture of the hair. Gibson says it was a problem she could easily address, so, like many caring educators do, she used her own money to fill a need and purchased hair creams. Um, I call them into my office. And we go to work on that hair, and they go back out smiling. So that's at the end of the day. We want to make sure that we have healthy and happy kids, and, and, and especially girls who are feeling really, really good about themselves. Girls are no longer being made fun of for their hair. Gibson keeps the products at school in a bag with the girl's name on it, or the student can take it home. They'll come in and ask me if, if, they, if I have anything for their hair. And so I do it put on a pair of gloves and I go to work and they're happy and and we're also building a relationship you know that that's how I build a relationship with kids by meeting their needs and I'm glad that they do feel comfortable enough with me to come to me and ask for help. Gibson feels certain hair bullying is a problem at other schools and through Girls Inc. she's taking donations for hair care products to share with other schools and counselors. I mean, anything will help and a lot of the kids they know how to do it they may just not have the product to do it. And Miss Tiffany, she is the best. If you would like to help fill this need by donating products, you can drop them off with Miss Tiffany at the Rain Tree Community Center. Just visit our website, WRBL.com, for more instructions on how you can help out. Phil Teresa, back to you. All right, All right thank you so much, Elizabeth. February is American.